Thank you. Just getting all my pieces and parts together. Well, that's why this product was so good for him, I thought. Because he's just not going to have any space between the prostate. Okay, lube me up. Or what do you got on the clock? Let's call this a start time. 8.34. Sorry, 8.34 probe in. But yeah, you can see he does not have hardly anything for fat between. There's my Foley. There's my base. It looks like we're pretty close. Let me see your image versus my image. I want to see your contours. And I can match to you. What we're seeing here is the contours from his MR plan superimposed on the live ultrasound. Yep. So I can see the prostate is pretty close to where it's supposed to be. I want to adjust that just a little bit on this slice to get the ultrasound right where it's at. I'm going to set my zero here. Bill, you ready for me to step back and look? There's my first step back. Can you step back one? OK, let me take my prostate up just a little bit. And that's seminal vesicle I see on it. OK, let's go back to the next one. That looks pretty good. Good. Next. Uh, I think that'll get coverage. We may tweak the apex out. Go back one more. OK. No, that's OK. For the most part, it lines up. It looks to me like the alignment's off just slightly. We'll capture new images on the prostate, I think. I think I'll have to adjust. I could use those volumes, actually, because I could just move and adjust. And then we'll adjust the plan. OK, now I'm going to flip back. Now it's going to track with me. The encoders that are buried in here are tracking with me. You got that one captured, right? Yeah. Next, capture. 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 Take that one twice for me. Or do you want me to step back one more and grab a blank? No, you're fine. OK. And if I step back, then I'm seeing that I'm out of prostate. So I've got images. I've got a plan. Now I'm going to sit down and tweak that plan out, and then we'll do it, and then put the applicator in. You've got your contours unlocked. I'm going to go over here to contour. I'm going to go up to the top. See, he's purple. I see him. Okay. So now let's change the color on this guy and see what color he turns. Let's make him spring green. And the reason we do that, you see this 9P Pi Rads 4? That's telling you if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 9 posterior, there's a lesion that they saw in the MR that they said was on PIRADS reading was significant for risk of cancer. So we brought that into the planning system. Now we're fusing that into the ultrasound. We're giving 150% dose to the molecular target that was seen on MR and then fusing that to the live ultrasound to make sure we've got it in the right location. Now, I haven't seen a breaking case since I stopped selling for which was, what, 2011? Well, you, even if you go anywhere else, you ain't going to see this. <laughs> But it looks normal on ultrasound. Yeah. It's only on the MR that you could see that yeah, target. See that. And so basically, you're going to paint more. You're going to we're going to put more dose in that area. Okay, and gotcha. since it's close to the rectum, I give it 150% of dose. That's right in the middle where I wanted the Space and OAR product to yep. lift away. To lift this is a fairly new planning system. So it was, it, it's MIM, right? It's the, yeah, it's the MIM, what they call their symphony planning system. Okay. Yeah, now I can take out that PTV, shrink it down, and say, okay, let's put the PTV back in. I'm going to take my PTV out. I'm going to take my prostate out. I'm going to take my urethra and drag it to the right location. I'm going to put prostate back in. And the ability to do a contour and planning based on contours. Okay. You know, and to bring in image fusion, where MIM has been doing that for years. Yeah. Varian's product isn't that far developed yet. Now these edges look a little funny. See how they look jaggedy? Because yeah. we transferred them over from MR. If I hit the okay. smoothing a couple times, that smooths that out for me. And my PTV, again, I think I could take that down a little bit to spare some of his rectum. 
well, I can see the edges of the contour. Yeah. This contour was from MR, it's just transferred over. Yeah. I'm just adjusting this to match visually where I see it on the prostate. Yeah. So like on this slice, I can see my prostate's out to here. So now I'm gonna take my prostate and I'm gonna turn the contour back on the tool and I'm gonna push that edge out. Right. So this is really customizing the implant for every patient to account for the best of all worlds. I'm getting the molecular imaging to show me where I should be covering. I'm looking at the live image and the ultrasound view as we're doing the procedure. Right. Uh, about two years ago, we published at ABS a couple years ago the, the first experience with it, an abstract anyway, uh, collecting a series so we can start reporting this out in a retrospective fashion for manuscript publications. But yeah, I think we can say safely that we've got one of the most advanced programs in the country at this point. Oh, that's great. I mean, I think MD Anderson's doing something very similar. They're doing some interesting doing work with parametric. I, I don't think anyone else is. Well, I don't want to say I don't think anyone else is doing it. I don't know if anyone else is doing it. They do all the uh, work to get all these computer images in for me and do a pre-plan so we know how many seeds we need to order. And then I usually, in the operating room, like to set down myself to tweak out the plan just to make sure before I do the plan that I'm perfectly happy with what I'm about to do. Have I purposely made this a little bit more complicated than other people think is required for brachytherapy? Yeah. Do I think it's a value to the patient? I do or I wouldn't be taking the time to do it. Yep. You can see the, the brown rectum that's there is the one that was drawn from, uh, from the MR. So now I want to take it down to just what I'm seeing on ultrasound basically and put it right up against the prostate to look and see what my dose is here. Now what will be interesting, of course, is to see when we're done with this whole procedure and we push it back, what dose did we get to the rectum after the procedure is done. So what we're looking at on this screen is the prescribed dose of radiation in green, the prostate's in blue, the target volume accounting for any disease beyond the prostate is in red. I'm letting my dose drop a little here because this is the pubic bone. There's no cancer going in there. We've used an MRI image to see that there was an area here that actually was high risk for being cancer, what they called a PIRADS4, so I'm pretty confident there's cancer in that little square. He's only a half a centimeter square, but I want to make sure that my 150% of prescribed dose is there. So if one or two seeds moves away from it, I know I get at least full dose there. I'm shooting to get 99% coverage to the blue. The 150, this flesh tone, I don't like it to be above 70%. I want it between 40 and 60. By using the molecular imaging of the MRI, it lets me make sure I get very high doses where the cancer is likely to be involved, but decreased dose to the neurovascular bundle, urethra, and again, in this particular case, we're trying to spare the rectum because the patient's on a blood thinner. Now, what I see here is I've got a seed and it's got a single, and that's this guy here. So I'm gonna find where he's at and say, I don't need him. That's a needle I don't think I need. I'd rather add it there. Yeah. That's a needle I'm not sure I need to have a seat on. I think I can put it there. And then that one I can drop out. So now I've got a plan that I think I'm almost happy with. One last look at the needle loading pattern. And now I've eliminated anything other than threes in a row. I don't see any singles. I got a couple. These are across the top, that okay. 4.5. Yeah. So where I got rid of needles, these seeds are more prone. If you're going to see 2% migration, it's going to occur in here. Okay. So I don't mind putting those back to back because one of them may not even stay there, and there's nothing other than bone that it's close to. Gotcha. Okay? So the top one, let's go up and take Big Dog 2 as our first needle. Okay, Bill, do you want to print everything off? I'll let you go from here. I'll start getting ready. Okay, and I look like I'm below the urethra. I can take the needle tip on up to the top of the prostate. That looks like I'm all the way to the top. 
Now I take the sharp piece out. I'm going to pull back here and go three in a row. One, two, three, and you can see Bill pushing those seeds to the right spot. And then I'm going to come back here. I want one more seed here. But now he wants three seeds back to back there, correct? So I'm going to put one, two, and the third one right on the edge of the rectal tent, three. And those are my first needle. As you place the needles, you're going to get a little bit of swelling in imaging. If I went bottom to top, by the time I get up here, it'd be hard to see my image. Yep. If I start up here at the top and work my way down, I've still got good image at the bottom. And especially in today's case, where we want good image at the bottom to make it into this plane yep. to place the spacer. I want to start up here and work my way down. So now I'll go left to right, top to bottom. Okay. So I'm going to come in right there to the top of the prostate. How many are we putting in? Two here. At? Straight line and a 13 and a half. So I'm going to come back to 11 and a half on my mic. That gets me about right here. A lot of people like the preloaded needles where you're just putting it in and then dropping the seeds like that. Yeah. But the, if you do that, the only thing you've got control is your tip. And depending on how much wax you've got at the tip, you don't even know exactly where the tip is. Yeah. With these, you always know the seeds five millimeters in front of the tip of the needle, and you can watch that last seed and adjust as you're doing it. Yeah. Take it on up to the top. How many? Is this the other one with five? Yep. Straight five at 12. One. Two. And here's the problem. Sometimes you can't perfectly see the seed. Three, four. So you'll see Bill on the live screen over there just trying to adjust for where I actually put the seeds in. Five. Big Frank is like, why isn't that on 1.5 Big Frank? There it is. I'll take that. How many are we doing here? About there. Two back to back at 12 and 11, five, then click, click. Three and out. Eight, nine, ten, and you kind of push it in quickly yep. like that. And that just goes into that space. And again, about a second from now, that's going to be a solid gel. Yeah, so if you touch that now, it's solid. And that stays that way. And it'll stay there for three months and it'll absorb and go away. So you got. The first thing we'll be doing is placing the yeah, you'll do the needle. Section. I'm going to start by. Yeah, blue to blue. Putting everything blue to blue and getting me set. The settle out. Right, and then while that's setting, I can get my needle in place. Okay, that's connected, and I'm down. Air out. And shake it for Product about 10 in. Yep. I'll just let that set for a minute. That's right. I've got 10 cc's of sterile saline here. Perfect. So and now I can, can do prime your needle with the saline just so you get all the air out of that. Mm -hmm. So it looks like if I go right here at D1, yep. that's going to get me right below. I'll pull the needle back a little bit as I do that to open my space out of it. And that gives me my 10 cc's of yep, that saline that detected. I'm going to go back in the middle and take my 10 out. Leave the needle at mid gland. Yeah. Because that's where you'll connect to it. And then disconnect. Okay. We did. So now I can pull this back in. Yep. Pull back five. I've got five. And disconnect. Disconnect. And then a CC pull a of cc air. of air. Now we build the rocket ship. Yep. One's on, the other's on. Go Let's ahead. get these. Put okay, you over. Yeah, I just, I like it. Line now I up. remember lining these yeah. two up so they yeah. connect easier. No, and, then uh, uh, syringe clip holder next. Yeah, let's see if we can flip that over, and that's going to go in. Clip, yep. clip. And then just hold And then plungers. hold the plungers and go clip, clip. Okay, there I am. I want to advance just to the point, not any further. 
because I don't want to lock up my needle That's early. Good. Yep. Okay, we're ready? Yep. And connected. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Excellent. Nicely done. Excellent. Thanks, guys. <laughs> we got very good separation on yeah. that. That's beautiful. Nice job. That's how it's done.